Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to discuss something kind of urgent and definitely interesting in the world of jailbreaking, iOS 8.1.2. All right, so to start off to begin, I'm going to open up Safari here and we're going to go over all of the details. But first, if you guys are running iOS 8.1.1, Apple's previous latest public firmware, or even iOS 8.1 or earlier, then you can jailbreak either by way of the new Taiji jailbreak utility, or again, if you're on 8.0 through 8.1, by way of the Pangu untethered jailbreak. And if you guys are on the main page for this video, just be sure to click my channel name down below so that you don't miss out. You can also find all of these videos link to at youtube.com forward slash iCrack your iDevice. And now with that said, let's go ahead and move on. So as I previously mentioned, today Apple released iOS 8.1.1 to the general public. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started and go over everything and all of the details surrounding the all new firmware. So today in a surprise release, without having first entered iOS developer beta form, Apple issued iOS 8.1.2, the second incremental 8.1.x update, of course succeeding 8.1.1 one to the general public. And as of now, unlike its predecessor, 8.1.2 cannot be jailbroken by way of either Taiji being the latest 8.1.1 untethered jailbreak or the older Pangu for iOS 8 through 8.1 utility, which was patched when Apple released 8.1.1. However, in light of the fact that it's not currently possible to jailbreak 8.1.2, today's news isn't all bad for jailbreakers. And I'll elaborate on that shortly. So as with past iOS 8 updates, updates in addition to being available via Apple's iOS over the air, commonly referred to as OTA for short, updatability 8.1.2 can be downloaded and fully installed directly through iTunes. However, it's absolutely crucial that current iOS 8 through 8.1.1 jailbreak users avoid the latest firmware at all costs. Again, as alluded to previously, being the second minor release since the company issued 8.1, the latest 8.1.2 update is just that, a minor release. And in light of that fact, although it's too early to state for certain, a number of vulnerabilities exploited in the Taiji jailbreak for 8.1.1 appear to remain unpatched in iOS 8.1.2. However, without an updated utility and more extensive testing to know for sure which of said vulnerabilities were addressed in 8.1.2 or more likely not addressed, it's not possible for any device to jailbreak 8.1.2 when utilizing the current Taiji jailbreak utility. So with that said, as suggested by iOS 8.1.2's own release notes, the firmware simply addresses a minor bug that was reportedly causing complications with ringtones purchased from a device through the iTunes store. Seriously, that's it. Performance updates, other improvements, and additional features are out of the question. And for that reason, iOS 8.1.2 is no more stable than 8.1.1. The negligible bug that prompted iOS 8.1.2's release doesn't justify the loss of one's jailbreak, at least not right now. So while iOS 8.1 added a number of welcomed improvements, including Apple Pay support for the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, SMS forwarding that enabled Macs running OS X Yosemite and iPads to send and receive SMS and MMS messages remotely from an iPhone, instant hotspot tethering, an iCloud photo library beta support, and iOS 8.1.1 improved the performance of the older iPhone 4S and iPad 2, the same cannot be said for 8.1.2. Hypothetically speaking, if one were to update their jailbroken device via iTunes, as of recording this video, it would result in the instant loss of said device's jailbreak, making it virtually impossible to jailbreak past 8.1.1 until a new utility is issued. And speaking of a new utility, seeing as it's been confirmed that, at the very least, the main kernel exploit utilized by Taiji to jailbreak 8.1.1 remains unpatched in iOS 8.1.2, it's very likely that the team will update their utility for support with today's iOS 8.1.2 firmware. So having said that, as previously mentioned, if your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is currently jailbroken on 8.0.x or 8.1.x, avoid updating to 8.1.2 like the plague until such a time that the update has been successfully jailbroken. And let's briefly discuss what's next for jailbreaking. Now that the new 8.1.2 has been 
issued and whether Taiji will update their utility to jailbreak iOS 8.1.2. Now there's no denying that it's been an absolutely exceptional time for jailbreakers with iOS 8 through 8.1 first having been jailbroken by Pangu, followed by the all new Taiji team's 8.1.1 jailbreak utility. But are there plans to update either of such tools to jailbreak 8.1.2 and beyond? Thankfully, the answer is an incredible yes, as loosely translated from a statement recently made by the Taiji team themselves, quote, we will try to give you surprises in every subsequent iOS public release. Now that statement in conjunction with the fact that at the bare minimum, the main kernel exploit has been preserved in 8.1.2 bodes extremely well for the possibility of a Taiji jailbreak 8.1.2 update. So to summarize, 8.1.2 isn't as big of a deal as its predecessor was. At the time, it patched the only untethered jailbreak. However, having said that, it's recommended that any individual interested in both jailbreaking and updating avoid today's release until it's possible to once again jailbreak the latest public firmware. Otherwise, individuals who update will be locked out of jailbreaking for the time being. And of course, I will have complete updates here on my YouTube channel for you guys regarding the current jailbreak status for iOS 8.1.2 and beyond. Of course, we already know that Apple is planning on releasing 8.2 in the foreseeable future for Apple Watch support. So that's coming sometime in quote early 2015. And like I said, stay tuned for not only coverage on the jailbreak status of 8.1.2, but also the forthcoming 8.2 firmware. Remember guys, this is an absolutely incredible time for jailbreakers. And although we can't currently jailbreak 8.1.2, I expect to see some sort of a utility to do so in the foreseeable future. We may actually be surprised Taiji will probably step up and update their utility to again jailbreak 8.1.2 as the team promised. So if you're on the main page for this video and you want to be updated and notified more often, just be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to do so. And if you guys want to be notified even more often, such as when I cover various things ranging from jailbreaking to the Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices after rating this video up, just be sure to visit bit that ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile safari once you're there tap download and press the home button if you're on ios 8. from there open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware it's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated after that download sponsored apps for points refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the affordable mentioned prizes. And with that said, as one last reminder, definitely approach 8.1.2 with caution and only update knowing that you will indeed lose your jailbreak and you won't be able to jailbreak until an updated utility is released. So I personally recommend avoiding it until you see that it's jailbroken, which I will let you guys know first on my channel, youtube.com forward slash iCrackYourIDevice. And if you guys are interested in me hosting a new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus giveaway, then again, just be sure to rate this video up and let me know down below in the comments section. I hope you guys like this video. Video. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.